All right, my list of most important words to ruminate over regularly to have the upper hand on life. This is a list that I keep. I've been keeping it. I think I told you last week I've been keeping it at least since 2014. I think I've been keeping it longer than that, but what I might have done is uh, created a brand new list and deleted the other list on my notes app on my phone. But it's it's not a long list. I wanted to create a list of words that are so powerful for emotional health that you wouldn't need like 90 different words. 10 to 20 words. I would like to encourage you to make your own list. Maybe my list will give you some ideas. Maybe you can uh, borrow some of mine and add some of your own. The first word on my list is relative slash subjective. Relative slash subjective. When I am in any situation or in any conversation with somebody and I start to feel my emotions rise or get heated or get uh, stirred, stirred up, you know. That's one word I go right straight to. I ask myself, are we talking about something here that is relative or subjective? It was such a relief for me going from a lifetime of taking comfort and finding security in black and white thinking. It was such a relief for me to escape that and to realize that very few things are black and white. As you know, I'm a person who uh, not only believes in God, but uh, my belief in God is very important to my life. And there are certain principles and laws that just come along with believing in God that a person tries to guide their his or her life by, that I try to guide my life by. And I have not always been successful at it, and I've never, not always valued those laws and principles. When a person fails in that way, it can be kind of crushing. And when it, you're talking about it, uh, somebody who comes from a family where you've been taught that your worth as a human being is not inherent, is not an inherent quality, that you are inherently defective and broken and bad, the combination of those two things is kind of like a, a one-two double whammy punch. It keeps you down. It keeps you down. It keeps you from progressing. It keeps you from being positive. It keeps you from feeling like there's any point to anything. Because uh, no matter how hard you try for one thing, you're always worthless. For another thing, every little mistake you make is like the confirmation of it. And it's like the end of the world. It's like you, you, you've just ruined your relationship with God. So escaping this black and white, really strict type of thinking and going to this relative, subjective reality, which is what it is, you know, the subjective slash uh, relative nature of life ref is more accurately reflective of real life. Because if you're somebody who reads the Bible, how many examples are there in the Bible of servants of God who had his favor but did really knucklehead terrible things? I think of uh, King David. You know, he's somebody I really admire. Did some terrible things. But the terrible things he did were subjective and relative. What were they subjective and relative in comparison to? Well, they were subjective and relative to all the good things he had done. His heart condition... Everything is relative and subjective. I think I've told you in the past, like, animal cruelty is bad, right? Well, what about if some crocodile grabs my daughter's arm and is trying to drag her into a Florida lake, and I'm jamming it in the eye with a stick? Isn't that animal cruelty? Sure it is. So animal cruelty is bad in certain circumstances, and in other circumstances, it's not bad at all. In fact, it's heroic. It's good. It's what you must do. So just escaping that black-white thinking, going to a relative subjective world, really, really nice. It's really oh, taking the pressure off. It reflects reality more greatly. 
I refer back to it all the time if I'm talking to my friend Jeff about something and I, like I said I, my, I start to feel my emotions get stirred I, I ask myself inside myself are we talking about something that's relative or sub- and subjective here well yes we are because almost everything is relative and subjective 